Hey guys, so we're finally getting around to building the new off-grid power station. Now this one has done pretty well, been up for about three years. It's had three different types of vertical axis wind turbine up on the roof of it and it's never leaked once in the, even the heaviest of rain. But it's just not big enough for the additional equipment that we're going to need so I'm going to get stuck in and we'll start taking it down. For those of you who haven't seen the original video on building this version of the turbine, the key to its success was the shape of the blades and creating a different size surface area on the front of the blade versus the back of the blade by using the corrugations. On the front of the blade, the surface is smooth, meaning that it cuts through the wind easier, so there's less resistance to it turning around, versus the back of the blade where the corrugations increase that surface area. And what happens when the wind hits it is the wind would hit into the channels and it would be forced sideways it couldn't disperse in a circular manner meaning that it had to hit the top and bottom walls of each corrugation as well and get funneled outwards which greatly increased the power that it could harness from the wind so hopefully i'll get back to building another version of this and we can do some proper testing on it So I'm just down to the bare frame now, um, you know, looking at it like that, and I never intended this, but I can't help but think of Doctor Who's TARDIS. <laughs> minor issue with using this corner as the location for the shed is the corner itself it's not square it's not a 90 degrees it's a tighter angle than that I don't know if you'll see that on the camera there but so what I've had to do is I've had to cut sections out of the cap stones off the wall and off the corners so that every inch can be used to get the shed as square as possible whilst also leaving a small gap for ventilation and air to get around so that the wood doesn't sit wet. Okay, slowly, slowly. Is it going inside or on top? Is on, top on top, on top, okay. yeah. Sorry. That's all right, now we'll just put it in the right position there now. Do you have to come back my way a bit? This is my way of working around the corner here, not being perfectly square. So I've set up the bottom to line up perfectly to allow enough clearance for the back wall to go on. But if I had have attached these pieces first, it would have tried to pull the frame in square, um, which would have just thrown the whole thing off. I'm not like on the team. Uh, you're prettier. I'm leaving myself an eye off that shit. You're prettier. Okay. It's it's leaning forward just a little. You watch my lilies there now. Watch the lilies. Who planted the lilies? Can you hold that roughly there? Yeah, like my helmet like you. What way do you want this like? Just hold it up. I'm going to put it in, like one screw in so it's able to turn and I'll go over and put it in the right position then. You just keep it up for me if you can. I've got the Thank best you. assist. <laughs> 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 Woo. Easy now. Wow. I've got the best assistant in the world here now. Not right, hon. <laughs> so what we want to do is just shimmy along. Yeah, I know. So I'm not going to be able to hold it here. I don't want to hold it like that. So I have to get down. That's it. There that we go. Came with us. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah, so what are we going to be doing? Doing the same thing back in? Yeah. Same thing back. You did most of the stuff I said you didn't need me. That's some sunset, isn't it? I can't see the sun. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, let's give the viewers a look. Look at that. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Lovely sunset over the shore valley. As Chloe winds up the dog. <laughs> Probably doing this wrong. Starting to come together now. Tell you what, my measurements were fairly spot on. Not a millimetre to spare. 
that's the roof on it there now um, it was a stupid idea to be honest with you making it fit the shape of the wall because it took about four hours to get that roof on um, which is time I didn't have it's now eight o'clock Thursday evening tomorrow is meant to be a complete washout so um, serious pressure is on now to get walls on this and have it some way watertight before tomorrow comes so it's going to be a late night hopefully I can get it done oh wait do you want to go in do you want to go in go in this way and then that way. We're gonna have to go this way. Right, go this way, yeah. Okay, come on in, handy for now. Fish. Alright, no time for messing. There we go. I've been holding on to two of these for a good while. They were kindly given to us by Davy, a builder that we know. Um, he just wanted the handles off them and he didn't want the rest of them. So I was gonna make a cold frame or something out of them, but I figured they'd look better on the front of this clothes just over washing the other one so I'm gonna see if this will go on and uh, hopefully it does still fit. Oh, uh, I'm in. Yes, yes, still fits. That's nice as well now because there's plenty of room for the door to go there too. The sun has officially set. We are running out of time. Just one more panel to go and a lock. We finished up last night shortly after 12, but we got all the outside done and the rain is only just starting to come in now. So let me go show you around. We've got a lot to do in here but with the rain on the way it gives the perfect opportunity to make sure that the roof's not leaking before I can go ahead and insulate it. I'm going to put all the control units, all the electronics, fuses, switches, everything all over on this old Medite wall which is just about good enough to reuse. The battery bank is going to go down low here um, and we have enough space there to get all of our batteries in use so we'll be able to see how well that does. Still have to do some ports in the walls for the cables to come through and I think the generator might go over there um, with a port for the exhaust to go out through. There's one thing I'm not quite happy with which is this Medite panel I had to put on on the outside here. I'm going to replace that with one of the corrugated sheets. I'm going to get another one. We got them from Shore Roofing. They're um, acquaintances of ours, a local business here. They have a great selection of stuff and um, you can find it all on shoreroofing.ie and they do deliver and they've got good prices too so do check them out if you're looking for corrugated panels, cladding, all that kind of stuff, even polycarbonate, they do it all so do check them out, shoreroofing.ie. All in all the total cost of this build was around 230 quid because most of the materials are reused. The Medite was from the original um, TARDIS hut as was all the timbers that were used in the frame and all the screws, every single one was from the original build that was able to be recovered. The tech screws used in the roof with the waterproof ro uh, washers, excuse me, they came from the solar array that we had up above there. They were left over from the roof brackets. The glass doors were given to us for nothing. Um, so all in all, yeah, all we had to buy was a bucket of Ron seal and um, just the panelling really from Sure Roofing. So pretty good for 230 odd quid, eh? Now listen guys, I'm going to spend the next couple of days figuring out the layout of this and fitting everything in. Um, so once I have all that done, I'll be able to give you an update next Friday. So do stay tuned and we'll be able to see everything working. The whole battery bank, all of the equipment and some of the new bits and pieces. So until then, do take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Friday.